we've got if, we've got stringify, you know me, and now meet Musli. Okay, so this is the Musli website. Really nice looking, tells you what it's all about. One thing I really like is you can use this on an iPhone, on an Android device, and even a Windows phone. And not many apps do that. Um, I think every app maker's kind of forgotten about the Windows phone, um, which is a shame, but partly the reason why the Windows phones don't sell that well, even though I've, even though I've not got, got one myself, I do like them, they're, they're okay. So it's good to see support here for Mus Musli for, for those devices. Uh, on here, it lists some of the things it works with. I'll go through some of them. So obviously LifeX, that's what I'm gonna be trying it on. Um, this is the only product I've got, which is currently supported by Musli. Uh, also the Amazon Echo. However, caveat to that, um, this is only in the US at the moment. However, the developers have told me this will be coming to the UK very soon as well. Uh, and obviously we've got Nest thermostats, EcoB thermostats. Uh, let's have a look. Lockitron Bolt, Netimo, Netimo thermostat, Fitbits, uh, connected by TCP, Let's keep going. More Fitbits, some Wivings uh, devices there. Uh, yeah, some Wivings Pulse OX smartwatch, some motion sensors, uh, some other plugs, etc. etc. Um, now. I do believe there's going to be more and more devices added as time goes on, which is great. Um, I'm going to show you the, the iPhone app in a second. I really like the design of that. Um, look at this. We Mo Mr. Coffee. I could do with one of them. Looks quite good. Um, but yeah, um, I think the only thing it's lacking for me at the moment is actual um, device support. And as soon as they've got that, um, then they'll be laughing. Okay, let's look at the Musli iPhone app. So this is the screen you, you're greeted with. Um, you get some shortcut buttons you can add up on the top. You get a message you come from there. I think the first time you, you do it, there's a slightly different message you see here. Uh, if click click on here, you can add agents. Now, basically, an agent is what Ift would call an applet or a routine, if you like. Um, on here you can add devices, so click on add device and the only one I've got that will work with this is LifeX bulbs. Let me find those. Here we go. Right, now I've got to sign in to LifeX. Okay, now I've just authorize that. Click on my LifeX account, add to my devices. Uh, so devices, this is where you add and interact, got it. Create a group, got it. Okay, so it's detected my lights. So it's got my bedroom light. Uh, the light I've got in my kids bulb. It says that's on at the minute, let's turn that off. Uh, and then my living room light as well. So what else have we got here? So this is just my profile. That let's go and add an agent. So name this agent. What should I call it? I'll just call it LifeX Agent. For now. Okay, when I detect that, let's say location next. Uh, do I want it to use my current location? Okay. And when, what's this button? Exits or enters. Uh, so when I enter, I think 200 yards is the, the least I can do. Let's go up to 
300 yards. I do like the level of control on this already. Um, some other apps have like pre predefined ranges. This one, it's pretty damn slick. You can put in within 10 yards um, the distance. So click done on that. So when I detect I've entered 300 yards, I will make sure that uh, living room light I can send notifications as well if I want living room light is on and the color is what should we go for let's go for green the brightness is let's put it right up to 100% Assume you can't type that in. I have to keep hitting on the plus symbol. But we'll get there, we're getting there. 100%. Oh no. Oh, I could have just done that and gone minus around to it. Okay, color temperature not interested in. Then done. Uh, okay, now you can add and also, but only if. So this is where you're getting some really good control over what you can do with your agents. So, and also push notification. Um, hello, you are nearly home. I hope someone will make a Copper there, so that'll send me a push notification. Click on done, um, and then I can go again. I can do it and also if I want, but let's click on but only if. Uh, but only if, and it's only giving me the option of time. Uh, the time is between, uh, so obviously, can we change that one now? The time is between, so here we go. So I can pick any time I want. And let's just show me that one there. Okay, and I can select the days I want. Now what I'm not that sure on is which option on these radio buttons, if you like, are on. So are they on or is that on? I don't know, it's not that clear. I suppose I'll find out. Click on done and finish. And there's my agent. Hurrah, here's your first agent. Got it. And on the screen, again, this is quite a nice touch. I can just turn it on and off. I can play it or delete it as well. So what happens if I click play? So it's testing my agent. Instructions for this agent were sent correctly. Uh, okay, let me go into it. And let me get rid of the but only if. Finish. Let's play it again because I should get a notification on my phone. Uh, back, quick play. Uh, I know. It's because I'm already in this location. I've not entered the location, so that's why I'm not going to get it. Uh, but I'll test it out, and if I can figure out a way to show you that notification, I will. Um, but for now, this is Muslis. Look at groups. Uh, all I've got is the lights at the minute, so I can group them together in, in different ways if I want. Uh, turn that light off. It did turn my light on, but it didn't send me the notification. Let's keep turn that off. Try that again. So on my agents, click play, and if we go back to devices, yeah, so it's turn my light on green 100%, um, it's just a notification that's not happened, so I'll look into that and try and figure out why that is, but yeah, a uh, new shortcut, add new device, living room, next, done, here we go. Name this shortcut. 
like this. So I've got a shortcut on, on my home screen as well. So, Musley, big thumbs up from me. I do like it. The, the layout is great. Um, creating an agent or routine, whatever you want to call it, is, is really simple. It's easy. You've got lots of control. Um, so, yeah, I, like I say, I really like it. It's just more device support, please, Musley. Thank you. Okay, so before I made this video, I contacted Musley just to, to see what it's all about. Because um, there's, there's quite a few uh, different apps out there that seem to be doing a different thing. So I thought I'd contact them and, and see what they had to say. So I'm just going to read it off here. Um, I had a really good response from him. So, uh, da, 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 da. so they're saying they're essentially they're an Internet of Things startup that has the platform as a service and software as a service solution for Internet of Things. This means that other brands can have a white label version of the Musly app or some selected features like automated rules and machine learning engine, usually for insurance companies, telcos and utility companies. Currently we have the Musly app available on Google Play, App Store and Windows Store for free. And that app controls a wide range of smart devices and our users can create automation rules to manage their devices for them, create shortcuts or simply control them manually. Um, yeah, and I asked them a, a couple of questions. Um, Say, so, okay, are you doing, uh, you're going to be adding more devices to it? Um, and they says, yes, our next compatibilities include cameras from Netanmo, MyFox and Logitech Circle. Um, like I mentioned, they support uh, the Amazon Echo in the US and they are currently in the process of having it approved for the UK store as well. So I think that when that um, is approved and it's available as an Alexa skill here in the UK, that would be great. I really like this app. Um, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Like and comment. Cheers.